Amidst a worldwide pandemic due to COVID-19, Haskell Indian Nations University has taken their own precautions to protect the local community. In the spring semester of 2020, campus was closed indefinitely in response to the pandemic. Students were discouraged from traveling back to campus as school officials organized a shift to fully online classes. It was not until fall of 2021 that students were allowed to be back on campus. The freshmen, the seniors, athletics, and transfer students, they were not allowed on campus. They let us know that two weeks before school started, if I remember correctly. So for any of us that were expecting to move on to campus and were planning on that, all of a sudden now had to either find a way to get into Lawrence if we were out of state or, you know, have to cut out another semester. Whenever the pandemic had happened or started, I was actually on spring break in Arizona with my friends. And so we had to come up and rush back up here. And cause it was, Kansas was gonna say that they were going to um, close the borders. So it was kind of a scary situation where we had to get back right away. For the spring 2022 semester, there's a campus wide vaccination mandate for faculty and students. Faculty have been required to be fully vaccinated since November, 2021. While students were required by the end of the fall 2021 semester. Any student now living on campus is required to be vaccinated. I do believe it's important that everyone who can get vaccinated to get vaccinated. The more people that we are vaccinated, the quicker we'll be able to move past this whole business. I don't think there should be a mandate, especially because like of how much we know about the vaccine right now and like how much we know about COVID. Since we do have a mandate already, like I think that they should um, take down the restrictions, but um, the fact that they're like making everybody get a vaccine, um, even if you don't want to, is very frustrating. I wish they would expand the hybrid classes that are both conducted online and in person. I know that was a problem last semester where like only some of the, some of the classes were hybrid, so some students who couldn't live in Lawrence couldn't take some classes think that they should stop making people like be so far apart and having to like do their own education like all on their own. Um, I don't think that's very helpful for anybody mentally and um, which means it's like mentally and physically taxing. So I think in the long run like what we think that we're doing now to like help people is actually like hurting people in the long run. The newest variant, Omicron, has not only caused a spike in cases for the United States, but also in Douglas County, according to the CDC and local data. As a precaution to the spike, the Haskell administration issued a notice for all classes to be held online for the first three weeks of the semester as they prepare for a possible shift to fully online classes. I have a little bit of a harder time learning online, but it's just to keep us safe, so it is it is a little harder for a lot of students. but. It's to keep us safe. I've always been of the idea that I learn in person. I learn by watching other people and seeing how they do things and like kind of following that same path. So when I go online and I'm basically being talked at by a very grainy screen for about two to four hours a day, I'm not really learning much. They give out a lot of sanitizing products. They also set out food in the common area, water, for sanitation, they have wipes, they have the Lysol spray, they have masks, and they also give out toilet paper at times. I know they've provided uh, financial help to students who also like will ha have to like seek housing off of campus. And then of course, you know, um, accommodations given by like individual professors, you know, being a little bit more uh, forgiving to students, you know, helping them through their work. And then of course, our like tutoring opportunities, that sort of thing. In difficult times such as these, it is important to remember that the reason for lockdowns and mandates is for the safety of communities. Despite the shortcomings in terms of communication and execution with prior Haskell administration, Haskell officials now have the experience and means to prioritize the mental and spiritual well-being of students. Alexandra Holder was able to give hopeful advice to continuing and future students. I say just hang in there because Haskell is a great school and there's a lot of good opportunities here and hopefully everyone can, can come back again soon because, you know, we all miss everyone and it's not the same without everyone gone. So just hang in there and hopefully by the fall we can be back.